Welcome back to Attingham Park for episode 2 of a survival series. Hello everybody, how are we all doing this morning, this afternoon, whenever you're watching this, wherever you may be in the world. Yes, this is episode 2 of Attingham Park and we are basically getting on with some mowing. Now, I want to clear this area and there is one problem in this area though, you do seem to find every so often it's like a tree stump. I'm not sure where it is at the moment. It's, ah, wait there. Right, so these little mini stumps which we need to get rid of. Um, because what my plan is, is um, that mod, which uh, you can basically get rid of bushes. Really small bushes, mud. So I want to clear this area, um, and I want to, um, well, just start building on it at some point. Now, yes, I could just do it with the painting tools but do you know what since I've got the mower out anyway and I'm going to be doing mowing I might as well just quickly go around it cut it down um, and just go from there yes it's a bit of a slog yes it's a bit of a pain but why not plus there is little bits of grass that is hiding in it so a little bit of extra money is going to go a long way now I know this field itself which is my field um, once I've cut it it will take a time before the soilage to become fermented but that's fine that's not a problem whilst the other ones which is on the actual field that I'm doing the contract those silage bales will should become silage straight away hence why we're doing it as a contract so I'm gonna make some money today from that contract and what I'm only usually you end up making double bubble with any kind of harvest and contract so double of what you're making so it's not gonna be brilliant but it's going to be money, I mean, I must admit, I am wondering whether it's actually worth it for all the work put into it so far. But, hey, you know, it's all part of the fun. Um, and I rarely ever do bailing contracts anyway. So, let's get moving. Let's get to work. Now, I'm going to have a big shout out quickly. Um, and that's to Rev Simulations. Now, he's a good buddy of mine. Brilliant lad, brilliant bloke brilliant entertainer um, and he's got his own channel as well at the moment go check him out I'm gonna put a link in the description below so that way you can go find him seriously go show him some love because he's a brilliant guy and like I said he's uh, he's a dear friend of mine as well um, and I'll give a little shout out as well to mr. P because once again dear friend um, stuck again there we go it's that done so I've also got the lumberjack mod on so that helps me um, delete these pesky little things so which is good you know saves me going to get a uh, stump grinder or anything like that so it's saving me a bit of money well here's a chainsaw so that's good you know So, just literally, it's going to take a bit of time, I think. I mean, what I might do is do a bit of a time lapse for you in a moment, um, and I might just, because I'm doing this in real time, you know, so it's going to take a while for me, but for you, don't want it to take too long. Don't want to bore you senseless. I love this mower. I know I've used it a fair bit on other, other Let's Plays and FS19, but... It's absolutely brilliant, you know. I will probably use the windrow and sort it out a little bit, but I'm not sure as yet. Right, well, I think time for a time lapse. Hope you enjoy this.
so far it has taken an age. It really has. Um, we are now cracking on with the bailing side of things, and uh, yeah, it's taken a fair while. Um, which, um, well, it's been quite therapeutic. I've actually enjoyed doing it. I mean, I think this is probably one of the longest contracts I've ever taken on any farming game, full stop, I think. Um, one big problem, because I've windrowed these together, um, yeah, the baler's getting full pretty quick. So, yeah, we're going to see how that one goes. Um, hopefully, well, hopefully I'm going to get this job done pretty great, but then I've also got to go and wrap the blinking things. So, that's going to take a while, I think. I was assuming that bale wrapper works. I haven't actually tested it yet. Um, I mean, there was this bale wrapper was actually in FS19. And it worked fine on FS19. There was a small little niggle with it. Um, but I hope it's not gone over. I should have really te tested it before I went started the challenge, I suppose. But hey ho, we'll see. We'll see. It should work. It should work fine. And it's cheap. So, I mean, worst case scenario, what I might have to do is if it doesn't work, is just sell it off and then get another one, another bale wrapper. But the only way I'm going to do that is obviously cut down a couple more trees. So. Push up the shovel, that does happen. I'll probably do the cutting the trees off camera, to be honest with you. Because um, I've already done that in the last episode, a lot of cutting. So I don't think you're going to want to see too much of the same thing. I mean, it's a survival series. I mean, you, I'm going to be perfectly frank with you. You're going to see me do a few repetitive jobs. So, but I'm going to try and keep that down to a minimum as best as I can. But then you won't see the progression if I keep it down too much. So... We'll see, we'll see. I mean, I'll take it as I go, if that makes sense. So we're getting on, we've made it to the end of the week. For me, I'm recording this on Saturday. You'll probably be seeing this on Sunday um, by the time it comes up, or maybe even Monday. It'll depend on what, whether I could finish the editing in time. Um, well, life is rather busy on my end of the street. Um, just as it is for most people, I should imagine. So, not just me, of course. So, yeah, we'll see how it all goes. I'm going to try and get out, though, for Sunday, if I can, you know. But, yeah, I should imagine not many people will be watching YouTube on uh, Monday, unless they're watching a little something else happening. Um, but, probably be watching live television, you know, as it is the funeral of Her Majesty. Queen Elizabeth II. So, it's going to be a very, very somber occasion. Um, I've heard a the I've heard the um, Lang and State um, queues have been going for about five miles from Her Majesty. So people wanting to see it, see her, shall I say? Um, and it's amazing. It's a slice of history, but um, you know. I'm just, I just want her to be at peace now, you know, she's done her duty, done an amazing job, um, and I think she deserves to have peace, you know, so, she's an amazing woman, I mean, never had the chance to meet her, um, not properly, she once drove past my house when I was a child, but that's about it, you know, when I say drove past, it was quite fast, so, all I could see was a hand in the air, and that's it. So, you know, that was it, you know. So, not not, not 100% brilliant, but, you know. Uh, yeah, this baler is filling up so quickly. It's because I wind them together, but if I didn't wind them together, then it would take much longer, trust me, um, because there was quite a few minutes. I suppose the downside of that baler is that it's a small uh, baler, that um, mower, it's a small swath there that it drops about four metres, so not brilliant, not, not brilliant, but it does the job, it's cheap and enough, and yeah, I can't really grumble, but it is a good mower, so, looks to business as well, so, I think what I am planning on doing at some point is buying this field when I can. I know you get money up, because I could probably put a couple of different types of crop in there. So, split it into two fields, 
have park grass or whichever you know it's big enough for it big enough for it so yeah we'll, we'll see we'll see just a bit right I'm gonna crack on with this and uh, yeah see you in a moment when it's time to do the wrapping Okay, moment of truth, we've got the wrapper out. And like I said, if this doesn't work, I'm just going to go and cut down a couple of trees and get a different wrapper, uh, sell this one off. I mean, it's the only thing I can do wrong. Well, that one's doing all right. So the problem I had beforehand is that it sometimes stuck on the um, wrapper. So... And sometimes I had issues collect, picking up the bale, but... Right, so that's one bale done. Quite a few more to go. I have no idea how many I've done. Um, even if I did look at the stats, the, it would only show the stats of my bales. So, not the stats of the bales on this field. So, which, because it's a contract, so, you know. Nearly done that one. So, I went with pink. Sort of reminds me of a cooked ham. Don't know why. So, okay, now we're having problems. This is what, this is what happened before. Um, let's see. Drop, come on, drop. Mm. Okay. Right, this is going to do my nutting, I think. Right, I'm going to see you in a minute. Right, as you can tell, I lost my rag. I cut down two more trees, sold them off, and sold off that bale wrapper, and now we've got this one. So, not a lot of patience. At least this one's doing the job, and I've managed to bale all that lot. So, and that didn't really take me that long to do, to be honest with you, when you've got a baler that actually works. Right, so, let's collect this one here. I think that's the last one. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let's have a look. This is going to take a while to collect. I mean, goodness, I've only got, well, one bell trailer. Um, and, yeah, obviously a set of forks, and that's it. So, front loader attachment, that's it. So, it's going to take a while, I think, to load up. But, yeah, it's going to be part of the fun, part of the fun. So let's park it over here. I am quite interested in what I'm going to get. I think it is not going to be too much, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, usually you'll get a contract, harvest contract of some kind, um, and you'll only get, um, well, once you've done the harvest, you'll get the contract money plus you'll get um, another well, another half, if that makes sense. So, so it'll be interesting to see what we get. So, let's get this weight on the back. Because it's going to be a bit funny if not. And I think I should be able to pull that trailer with it connected to the weight. So, I'm just going to get it into the middle of the field. Let's see. Oh, yep. There we go. Let's go, Cisco. So hopefully I can pick up two at a time and get them on. Hopefully we shall see. Um, let's, let's go. 
It's just the question is, is where to start, really. <laughs> okay. Oh, came at that completely wrong. That looks better. There we go. Now I'm hoping this weight has enough weight to uh, to do the lifting of two bales. Uh, don't wanna. Oop. Yeah, that's it's good. It's good. Right. Not so sure this is gonna go so well actually. Hmm. Let's try it. If not, I could stand them up, I suppose. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, goodness. Right, that I wasn't expecting. Trailer should have held that. Um. Maybe I need to get some weight on that trailer. It shouldn't have pivoted up like that. It's a bit annoying, that one. Okay, let's get that one off. Come on. Oh, no. It's really not liking that. Um, right. Um, let's try this. Maybe the Range Rover has enough weight behind it to hold it in place. Let's try. I do love this mod. It is brilliant. Uh, Land Rover or Range Rover. It's just the sign of Great Britain. More, more, I suppose, uh, yeah, more Land Rover, uh, but Range Rovers is, you know, brilliant. I love it, especially this, this style, the nineteen seventies style, old fashioned. See, you should see a lot of loads in that yellowy colour. Let's move this off. Okay. Come on, baby. Up you come. I must admit, I'm not brilliant at bail stack. I mean, I'm, especially round bells, I'm much better with um, square bells, and I'm much better with. Well, I say square, they're not really square, are they? They're just rectangle, but they just call them square bales. But I'm much better when it comes to them, um, and I'm much better using a telehandler for it than a tractor, to be perfectly honest with you. It's just, I don't know, there's something about it which. Just makes life easier for me. So, but it is what it is. This is what I've got. This is what I've got to work with. I've got a tractor at the very least, um, and it's a good tractor. You know, consider it's got 150 horsepower and it's cheap as chips. So I mustn't grumble. And 19 miles per hour is not really that bad, to be honest with you, because you just sort of like go it's quite light so it's skipped along the ground so let's get the next one I probably won't show you all or the whole doing the trailer because this is probably going to take some time to do and in the future one I might just do a little time lapse to show you but I think for this one because this contract took so long we didn't Look at the time on in game, it's 4.30 in game for goodness sake. You know, and I started at 9.30 in game, was it? So you can tell how long this job has taken. But that's me explaining, not complaining. So, okay, come on. Right, up they go. Let's get 
that on the trailer. Okay. Right, so that's one trailer has been loaded. We're now on our way to the sale point, which is the animal barn. We whoop it. It does this biggest problem with this car. It does fish turn a little bit um, when you get it up to full on speed. So really, I should not speed up too much. Um, yeah, so the sale point is at the animal dealer. So that's going to be good. And it's just around the corner here, I think. Uh, not been there yet, so I'm not 100% sure. Just going by what the map told me on the way. So, oh, there we go. Yep, there, 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 I think. Way overcooked that one big time. So, right, I'll remember to come in slower next time. So, it's interesting. I just did you a know, crash bang wall up. And I thought I'd drive it down in the Range Rover because it's got much more power. And since it's, well, not really having a problem pulling it. And I'm not going to complain, you know. So let's see. Okay, release. Twenty-four percent transported. Okay, thirty percent of the job complete. Okay, I'll take that. Right, let's get another load, shall we? Load two. Whoa. Yeah, I've added a little bit extra on this one. I just want to get the job done. It's going to get dark pretty soon. So, as you can see, gross overload. <laughs> I'm terrible for gross overloads, I really am. When I, when I do it manually, I'm terrible. Right. Let's do this. Really? 78% huh and we've still got quite a, a load on that field still left so another half a trailer should maybe finish the contract so I'm just wondering how much I'm going to get from this right trailer free as you can see I had a hell of a time trying to put on the straps and whoa 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 and I've put even more on this one. There's two extra on this one compared to the last one. <laughs> right, let's try and get it in. Come on, baby. Look at that Range Rover. It's head sticking in the air. Bonnet. Oh, nice. Contract complete, 20 grand. Um, and there's still quite a few bales. Okay, now I'm interested. This is going to be interesting. Hmm. How much am I actually going to make from this contract? Okay. Now I have completed the rest of the, well, most of the drops off. As you can see, money top right corner. I'm astonished. I've still got a couple to go. I mean, the ones I've just stacked here, these are bales from my field, and they're, so they're they're not fermented yet in any way, shape, or form. Um, Seven percent fermented. That's it. So yeah, and if you wonder why the difference in the color, that's because when I brought the that bale wrapper up, um, I basically put the wrong color on it. So. And I just swapped it out later on, just before I started. Now this field is all done. And yeah, I think we're going to be looking to put in at least a shed at some point soon. Now we've got the Range Rover here. We've got a few more bales. So we're going to get these over to the bale sale point, And we're going to see exactly how much money we have made. Um, I am actually quite interested on what I'm going to get from this. I'm a bit baffled to be honest with you when I did look at the um, the demand um, and I did notice one thing that the demand goes up and it peaks um, next month basically so so contract 25 grand 
And I've not made double bubble, I've made triple. At the very least, and I still haven't sold these bales off yet. So let's get these to the sell point. I could keep them back, but I think I'm more intrigued on what I'm going to make. So let's do this. Now, we'll see what's going to happen. I've got this on easy difficulty at the moment. Now, if it becomes too easy, then I will whack it up to normal. Um, because I wasn't expecting that in the slightest. Not complaining, but not in any way, shape or form, because, yeah. <laughs> I need that money. <laughs> it's also made me think about something else I could do. Right. Well, I will see you at the sell point. Right, here we go. Moment of truth. The last bales are here. Well, the last one the contract filled anyway. A giddy of them. That's... Basically, I have made a hundred grand from that. A hundred grand from that contract. So, quadruple. Quadruple bubble. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Um, yeah, that, that has stumped me. Right, I'm going to get back to the farm, I think. I'll see you there. Okay, so after all that lot, which I'm still astonished, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to be sleeping through the night, and then in the morning, we're going to get to work, put some stuff down, uh, maybe a shed, um, and I do need to get some more equipment to do other contracts, so we'll see what we've got from that. So I think for this episode, we are coming to a close, um, and... It's a shocking episode to me. I mean, brilliant, but not going to complain. So, I hope you've all enjoyed. Take care, everybody. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next episode.